In this video, we'll guide you through the process of creating an app with the app quick start setup flow. Let's get started. In this example, we want to create an app for our product development team to help them manage their product launches. You can initiate the flow by clicking the Create button in the left bottom of the home screen. You can also find the Create button in the top right when looking at a workspace. If your workspace is empty, the button will be in the middle of the screen. Once you have clicked Create, you have two options, starting from scratch or utilizing the App Quick Start flow. For those unsure about app design, the App Quick Start is an ideal choice. Let's click here. We now have five different use cases to choose from. Marketing and creative, product development, project management, IT and support, and UX research. We want to build an app for our product development team, and so we'll click Product Development. This takes us to a screen asking us what people will manage with this app. We want to be able to manage our product launches, the tasks associated with the launches, and the product features in question. You'll notice this preview on the right side of the screen giving us an idea of what our app will look like. And the preview is interactive. We can click between the different interfaces that each of our choices have created. One thing to note here, you do have the option to change your use case choice in case you didn't find what you were looking for. But in this case, we are happy with our choices and click Next. This takes us to the app workflow templates. Workflow templates are basically bundles of logic that we can add to our app to make it even more powerful. You can see here what it includes. For instance, this one for tracking and assigning tasks adds a table and an automation to the app. For our app, we also want to allocate resources both for tasks and features and collect status updates from project owners. Because we're on a plan that allows us to sync and use the data library, we are presented with this option to import existing Airtable data. This is useful if you already have your relevant data stored in a different Airtable base or in the data library. In this example, though, this is not the case, so we will click the Skip button. Now we can name our app and give it a color and an icon. We'll choose Light Teal for this one and call it Product Launch Management. Let's click Finish. And now Airtable creates our app for us. OK, let's explore this app. The first interface is called Product Launches. It gives us an overview in a list view with tabs for Not Started, At Risk, and On Track. And the Launch Calendar gives us a calendar view of the launch dates and the ability to filter by status. The Tasks interface shows us all tasks, a page specifically for unallocated tasks, a page for utilization by person, and a page just for the tasks allocated to the current user. The Features interface has a similar setup with an overview of all features, a page for unallocated features, utilization by person, and then also a page for latest updates, and a handy page listing features that need an update. We can edit the app to further customize it and decide what interface editors are able to do. For instance, we'd like to make the Utilization by Person page in the Tasks interface possible to interact with, so we'll enable Edit Records Inline and Add Delete Records Inline. Now when we publish, editors can drag and drop tasks to different assignees. However, at the moment, we only have one assignee and only dummy data. If we go to the Data layer, we can import our own data from CSV, Excel, Google Sheets, etc. Say we realize that we do have an Airtable base with similar data, we can still choose to sync it from here. The sync flow lets you assign existing fields from your source table to this table. Once you sync, this will replace all your current records and change your table to a sync table moving forward. Finally, let's take a quick look at the automations created by the workflow templates. We can see that we have two automations running. One is for assignments in the features table, and the other is for assignments in the tasks table. Both will send an email to the assignee as soon as they have been assigned, 
to let them know that they are now the owner of the task or feature in question. Hopefully, this walkthrough has given you some inspiration as to how you can use the Airtable app Quick Start Flow to get your own apps up and running in no time. Thanks for watching.